Hello loves and welcome to game two of the tabletop TBR game that I created to help pick out my to be read books for the month. I did make some updates for the 2022 version of the game which I'm really excited to dive into and I will go over briefly some of the rules and things like that. Now if you're interested in joining along I do have links to where you can purchase the game which will include the 2021 version and the 2021 2022 version in a print and play download so you can get everything that you'll see in today's video and I do update them throughout the year at no extra cost for anybody who has already purchased. At this point let's just get into it. I do have an updated board for the most part it functions the same way which you'll see as we play but I do have a new icon here. Anytime you land on a blank you pick a regular prompt. If you land on one of these you pick two regular regular prompts. This you get to re-roll because you do want to get through the entire board as many times as possible because you do get points every time you pass your start. There's a TBR jar pick, a punishment prompt pick, bonus card pick, and all of those are still the same. And then we have this new random pick roll option, which coincides with these new little sheets here that you can fill out. You are free to change these as often as you'd like, as long as you fill it out before you do the roll. You could do books, mini games, prompts, whatever you want. Now the big change for this version is that I now have a game tracker. There's a 12 months or 12 round version or a four quarters or four round version that you can use depending on how often you read. I'm gonna go with the 12 month because I play this every month. I've already gone ahead and filled this out but there's an option for you to put your name, for you to have optional bonus point. So anytime I read a book that's a continuation of the series, I get an optional bonus point from that. I'm doing five turns per round. And then I also have some milestone options, which is very useful when we get to the round tracker. So every round, or in my case, every month, I'll use this to determine how many points that I've made throughout that month. So if this is the tracker for the first round or the first month, once I have that totaled, I would just add it here and then at the very end of the game, in this case at the end of the year, I'd add it all up to see how many points I got. Okay, I wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I did also design this so that you can play it with other people. I wanted to make it so that you can be competitive if you wanted to. I included these little crescent moons in the corners so whoever wins the round can fill in that crescent and they can get an extra, I don't know, five or ten points. That's up to you. And then at the very end when you're adding all of of those up you would add those points for winning those rounds and that'll add to your total and whoever has the highest total at the end wins. You can also just play against yourself which is what I'm planning on doing so I'm hoping to compare my total for each game to the previous year's game because I think that could be pretty fun. There's a plethora of ways that you can get points from playing. Some of the things as you can see here would be the number of books that you read, number of pages that you read, game card and board points so the actual gameplay for that month. The optional bonus points which you determine at the beginning of the game. Any milestone points which you get for achieving your goals. And then also I've updated the game point tracker so that you get milestone points anytime you complete a section. So this is the easy mode option. And then I also have a medium mode. And then there is an optional section at the bottom of each of these where you can get a prize as well. And then I thought it would be nice to have a page tracker. This is pretty straightforward. You just have your book name, the number of pages that you've read, and what the total is of your running page tracker. There's a checkbox here for you to note if you've added it to one of your round trackers. And then I had an extra box here that you can use for whatever you want, but I'm thinking of letting myself know whether or not I completed that book or if it was a DNF or or if I continue it later. And that's it. So let's start playing. All right, let's get to it. So I always start around with a bonus card pick. Okay, and this one must be used this round and it is a bonus if I get a pick with a red cover. All right, the first roll of the new year. I'm so excited and so nervous. All right, so we got a five. One, two, three, four, 
five. We just missed a double. So our first prompt is... All right, so this is a Black Lives Matter book. Okay, so for our first prompt, the Black Lives Matter book pick, I decided to go with Cast by Isabel Wilkerson. This is a nonfiction that talks about the history of the United States and how that affects Black people within it and things like that. So heard good things about this. I don't imagine it's going to be necessarily an easy read, but I do think it will be a a beneficial one for me to read. I will let you know more when I get around to doing the monthly TBR reading vlog or wrap up video. All right, and then next up we got a two, one, two. All right, so we've got a subscription box book. For subscription box book, this one's kind of a cheat because I have so many book of the month books that are just like books that I really want to read. So I just took this as an opportunity to read one of the many books that I have. And in this case, it's The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I've heard good things about this. I think it's supposed to be a haunted house type situation, but I did see it being compared to another book that is it like that? So perhaps my understanding of this is very wrong, but I am excited to see what's up. I think it's like a th thriller or a horror and I'm so here for it. <laughs> but I tend to be super picky when it comes to haunted house stories because I love the idea of haunted house stories and I just don't think I found any that I really enjoy, but I also haven't read a lot so far. So I don't know. I'm interested in seeing how this goes and if I like it. All right, roll number three is a five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I'm missing literally all of the special icons. All right. Okay, so a book by a new author. For the new author pick, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. But it's supposed to be about a teacher who's basically a serial killer and she's killing men on campus who do horrible, awful things. So it's kind of got that like Dexter vibe if you've seen that TV show where it's all like, yeah, they're the bad guy, but they're killing other bad guys. So it's all like, eh. but I hear that it's got some really good twists to it and it's been on my TBR for ages. So I'm excited to finally pick it up and see what it's about. I believe this is one of my 22 books to read in 2022, which you haven't seen yet because I filmed it, but haven't posted it. <laughs> Another book I'm excited about. Okay, so turn number four. We've got a four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. All right, so a debut novel. For author's debut novel, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. This is the only book that she currently has out, and it's basically about something that I believe actually happened in history, although a fantastical approach to it, I think. There was a time where women would poison their husbands because there was no way for women to get out of abusive or just horrible relationships back in the day because we had no autonomy basically. So this is kind of a look into that idea and I have no clue <laughs> how it's going to expand upon that topic, but I am interested in seeing the approach that they take because in this case, there is a, an actual person who deals in handing out the poisons. We'll see what's up. <laughs> and our Final turn is a two, one, two. So we landed on no special ones this month, which is surprising. So a book that's less than 150 pages. So a novella. Okay, and then for a book that has less than 150 pages, our last pick for this round, I decided to go with The Black God's Drum by P. DeJelly Clark. Probably butchered that. And surprisingly, so far, this is the only book that I don't know anything about. Um, it is a novella, so I feel like going into it fairly blind is probably a good idea. There's something about a secret, magic maybe, 
I'm not sure. I'm excited about this. I'll let you know. And now that we have our picks, it's a good time uh, for me to choose one for the bonus. So a book with a red cover, I'm counting this as red, and I will use this for the bonus points so I can rack up the points. And these are our picks. I'm actually surprised that I didn't land on any fancy things this month. That very rarely happens. We'll see how the this new board treats me because it was very straightforward. I'm used to getting a lot of like doubles and things like that. This will be a very straightforward, interesting month. I do have a couple of other picks. I'm going to be reading This Poison Heart for my POC book club. If you guys are interested in joining, you can check out the Discord down below, read this book, and sometime in February we will have a live show talking about it. So join me. I would love that. And then for the Books and La La's Buzzword-a-thon challenge for 2022 for January, the who, what, where, when, why prompt, I'm going with what big teeth and I'm going to try and read this as well this month. We'll see how it goes. I'll have a vlog or a wrap up for it eventually and I will also try and keep you updated with my progress in that vlog and in a future round of this game as as well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you read any of these books? Do you recommend them? Are there certain ones that you're really interested in? Let me know. Also, let me know if you're going to be joining us in the book club pick. I am really excited for this and I would love as many people to join as can. <laughs> it's totally okay if you can't, obviously. And then also, if you've made it this far, be sure to include this emoji in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more from this TBR game, you can check out the TBR playlist. Uh, and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye!